Well, not really. I mean, we always joke around that uh, because we love horror so much as like audience members. We, I think there was an intimidation factor there where it was sort of like, all right, we know the type of horror we like, you know, so let's just go watch that rather than do it. And we were always reading horror. We were, you know, writing short stories with horror. How would you define the type of horror that you liked? <sighs> I guess it's the type of horror, like sort of like Pet Cemetery, where it's, uh, you know, it's emotionally driven. It's character based, you know. Uh, there's always like a metaphor at stake, something that's, that's being said through the film that we're kind of masking through the genre, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we really love all types of horror films, so the type of horror films that we gravitate towards are the ones that are not necessarily concept driven. Uh, they're the ones that are more character driven. Yeah, For me, it's relatability. I mean, like, you look at this, you want relatable characters. I think when you see this family, when you see Jason and Amy at the beginning and Jate, like, you believe them as a family. You care for them. They feel like real people. And then also the horror is a relatable fear that we all have. It's, you know, in this movie, it's the fear of death. It's how we deal with death. It's the grieving process, which unfortunately is something that everybody's going to have to go to. So I think that where the horror in this movie, yeah, I mean, it goes into supernatural territories, but it's all stemming from, like, a universal fear that we all could relate to. Right, it's not like they move into a house and there are ghosts that happen to be there and that has to get explained later. There's a whole first act, or first act really in in the beginning of the second act, that detail with the inner workings of this family and what they're afraid of and then what happens to trigger the the actual horror that comes within the movie. 